You might think that a potentially fatal virus that swept across the globe, causing billions of us to have to lock ourselves indoors, producing a forthcoming tsunami of uh, job losses, business closures, and a global depression that could lead to even more lives lost than the virus itself, that the media would be focusing on those very present and real threats. Well, my friends, you'd be wrong. Brexit derangement syndrome was once the virus that swept the British media. Now the deadly pandemic that has taken hold of them is Cummins derangement syndrome. To be fair to the British press, one thing you can say about them is that they very clearly care very passionately about adhering to lockdown rules, as evidenced by the fact that over these past few days, they've gathered together outside of the Cummins household like a pack of sodden sardines, blatantly flouting social distance and guidance. And they're still outside of the Cummins family household, despite the fact that the media's Dominic Cummins story has completely collapsed. He did not go to Durham a second time, which was reported on the front page of the Sunday Mirror and the Observer. He did not have any physical contact with family members. Durham police did not talk to the Cummins family about the COVID lockdown guidelines. Cummins did not carry on doing things that everyone else had stopped doing. He even missed the funeral of his uncle who died from COVID-19. He didn't leave his London home for leisure reasons. He left it because he was receiving death threats as a result of media demonization. And he was clearly very, very ill. His wife was ill. And at one point, his child was taken to hospital in an ambulance in Durham. Now, all of this has led to Sakia Starmer QC calling for his resignation. Ignoring, of course, the slew of Labour politicians that have reportedly flouted the rules themselves. Stephen Kinnock MP drove hundreds of miles to see his parents. Welsh Health Secretary Vaughan Gethin went for a picnic. Kevin Jones MP attended a birthday party. Tahir Ali MP attended a funeral with a whopping 100 people present. Where was the outrage and clamour for their resignations? Where was the angry mob camped outside of their homes, driving telescreens through their street, claiming they're responsible for death? No doubt terrifying a four-year-old little boy inside of his family home. You see, Cummins derangement syndrome is explained really easily. You see, to our lazy and entitled political and media class, he was the first man to finally give them a good kicking at the ballot box. Have adults who are they don't unable care about the small, small child, child or the law that in is question around the lockdown. And it's the small child that's at, at the very heart of this very human story. You've got two concerned parents caring about their Ben, making the best plans they could within the rules to ensure that the care could be there for their vulnerable young toddler if they suddenly found themselves unable to provide it themselves. The real scandal here isn't Dominic Cummins' behaviour. It's the collapse of ethics and objectivity in the British media. I'm Darren Grimes for Reasoned UK.